Hey guys, this is Victoria B back with another video. I've been out for a few days. I had to take a little break, you know, take care of myself, do some spiritual maintenance. So I am back. All right. So I'm going to do Gemini today. I got a channel message for Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, sun, moon rising, or Venus. Okay. So I'm going to be using the dark fairy tale tarot. I got a channel message for Gemini for you guys. Um, some kind of high-ranking warlock has been in your energy now for some time. And I'm just trying, I'm gonna try to find out what they're doing and what they want with you. Alright, this is some kind of high-level warlock. Okay. What flipped over here? The Queen of is this the Queen of Cups? This is a Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This could be your energy. Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Earth energy. You could have uh, some Earth in your chart, but this is your energy right now. You're grounded, balanced, and stable. Uh, you're living your best life. You're doing well for yourself when I'm getting here. So this is your energy. That's how they're seeing you too, whoever this warlock is. Yeah. Hmm. On the bottom, we have Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this this is your energy also. Uh, you could be doing really well for yourself. Um, you could be just, you could have some kind of business or a successful Queen of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Very good energy, okay? Mm hmm Let me see. Okay, what is, that's your energy, Gemini. What is the energy of this warlock? Who's this warlock? It's been after you. It's been in your energy. Uh, they've been trying for a while now, for a couple of years, maybe. May, maybe two or three, maybe three. They've been in your energy for a while now. They've been trying to, what I'm getting, they've been trying to take you out and they can't. So I'm going to see what, what's going on. What is the energy of this high-ranking high warlock? What's their energy? Ooh, the tower. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, wow. This is the tower. They're having some kind of tower moment. Some kind of powerful realization. Um, they've been trying to do all this spell work on you. They've been stealing your energy. If you've been feeling bad lately, um, you may have had stomach aches, headaches, um, been feeling a little fatigued. Um, this they're having some kind of tower moment, maybe because it's the the spells are not working, whatever they're doing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The eight of uh, this is what they're trying to do to you. The eight of swords is on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this card, but it says vampire written across this person's chest. This person is a this person is trying to, is an energy vampire. They've been vamping off your energy. They've been stealing energy for you from you for a long time. All right, they're trying to, this is how they want, this is how they want you. They want you in this eight of swords, but this is more their energy. They're like an energy, they're a vampire. Literally, probably. Wow. Yeah, five of pentacles. They may have been um, trying to block your money, your finances. Okay, but I'm getting, you're doing good over here with the queen of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You're doing just fine. Mm hmm And this is an emperor energy. Oh, wow. This is an emperor. This, this is a dark, this is a dark emperor. Wow. They have some kind of wolf energy around them. This is the emperor. This could be, this is their energy. It could be an Aries. Don't have to be an Aries. Could have Aries in their chart. Yeah, this is a dark emperor. And they have this, uh, they could be working with a queen of cups. This is a cancer, cancer energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could be working with a queen of cups to go against you. Mm-hmm. And then we have the, is this the knight or the page? I'm not sure. Yeah, this is the, looks like the page, the page of swords. 
Yeah, they've been keeping a close eye on you, watching to see if their spell work is working. And I think this is why they're having a tower. It's not working. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. There's a Queen of Wands energy. Here's a Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. So we have two queens on here and an emperor. Two queens and an emperor. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else we got going on. So we have, it looks like to me, they are working with, they're working, they're, they're the emperor. They're working with a queen of cups and a queen of wands. They could be getting, could be, uh, they could be using energies, feminine. Okay, I'm just, this could be a man or a woman. Doesn't matter, that emperor. They're using a queen of cups and a queen of wands. They're helping them tap into your energy. If this is a man doing this, they're using this uh, Queen of Cups energy and this Queen of Wands energy to try to defeat you. But you're over here with the Queen of... You're the Queen of Pentacles, okay? It's going to be very hard to beat the Queen of Pentacles. That's the energy that you're in. It looks like it could be some kind of coven or cult. And this, if this is a man, they're using these two females for maybe sexual energy. And they still, with the tower coming up, they can't... They can't... Um, they, they haven't been successful. They've tried and they haven't been successful even with all these feminine energies helping them. They could be doing like sex rituals or using some sort of sex magic to, to get in your energy to try to defeat you. They've been trying to do this for about two or three years now from what I'm hearing. Anything else we need to know? What else is going on in here? What else is going on, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Oh, yeah, they're trying to... This is the objective. They're trying to attack you in the dream state while you're sleeping. Okay? Trying to ha make you have anxiety. Trying to make you um, self-sabotage. To make you talk negatively about yourself. Yeah, they're trying to... You may have been having some, some, some dreams about these people. Oof. Wow. Yeah, this is the Empress on the bottom. This I'm getting this is um <laughs> man, this is a whole um this is a whole this is your energy. You're an Empress, Gemini. I'm taking that as your you're an Empress. You're you're sitting pretty, you're doing well for yourself. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles. And it's oddly enough, this is a couple. Now, if this is not this is your energy, but this also could be a couple doing this, an emperor and an empress, okay, and they are embodying the queen of wands and the queen of cups to tap into your energy. It's all these people, it looks like one, two, three, four people working together, and they still have not been successful. Yeah, here's the knight of swords. They've been trying, they've been sending you a lot of attacks, a lot of spiritual attacks to try to take you out of this energy, to attack your finances, your health, your wealth. Probably every aspect of your life. They want to take you out. Yes, they do. The two of swords. Um, they don't want you to know. They don't want you to see see this. You may have blocked these people, but they don't want you to see them. All right. They don't they want to they want to keep you blindfolded where you cannot see anything. Yeah, and the six of swords looks like you moved away from this these energies. All right. You moved away from these energies. Mm-hmm. Yep, you sure did. The Queen of Swords, that could, that's your energy. You cut these people off. You moved away. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is, yeah, this is you right here. Ten of Pentacles. And it kind of looks like this person's looking into a locket or a mirror or something like that. And these people are trying to steal your wealth, trying to steal your health. They don't really want you here. They don't want you here on this earth. They don't like you. They're jealous, all right? Ten of Pentacles. 
and they are under judgment. They're under judgment right now. They're being judged. They're going through karma. That's why this tower card comes up here. These are a bunch of vampires, a bunch of energy vampires, energy leeches. They leech off your energy. They attack you in the astral realm. Uh, whoever you are, I'm talking to you, need to put up protection. Yeah, five of wands. They're in competition with you. For whatever reason, it could be what you do for work. Hmm. Wow. This is weird. This is really weird. Hold on, guys. Yeah, it's a whole group. What else is new, right? This is the... Hold on. Eight of Cups. This is you walking away from... Yeah, you've walked away from this energy. You got some kind of power here, Gemini. Okay? The Divine has sent you some power. See the lightning coming out of the sky? They've sent you some power. They've, they're helping you deal with the situation that you're in right now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Two of Cups. This is like a couple, that Emperor and Empress. This is a couple doing this. Or this person actually might be a soulmate or a friend. But they, this person is like, this warlock is just, they have some kind of, they have something wrong with them. They have a lot of dark entities attached to them. This could actually be a, a, a soulmate or a counterpart. I know that sounds weird. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you could have worked with this person. All right. Or this could be this emperor and empress working together that are soulmates. All right. The Ace of Swords. This reading is the truth. And... Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see what this Two of Cups is. And this I, I'm going to clarify with the tarot. This is the tarot that has the the learning tarot. I just like the colors in it. That's why I bought it. This is a new deck. All right, let's see. Why is this? What's this two? Why is this two of cups here? If this person, maybe um, this warlock wants you to come to them and join their little, join their little cult or what looks like a cult to me. Join their little cult, and you didn't. You don't want to, or you did it, and they're mad. What's this two of cups energy? Is this some kind of uh, soulmate energy? Two of Cups for you, Gemini? Is this a soulmate energy? This warlock? Maybe. Okay, we got maybe. So, to me, maybe is a no. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Maybe. Could be. All right. Two of Pentacles. Let's see what they have to say. Juggling responsibilities, personal finances, career interests, keeping it all in balance, flexible, adaptable, unlimited potential. Yeah, this person wants you in their group because you have unlimited potential. It could be a soulmate. I'm not sure. That's what they're saying. Yeah, the moon. <laughs> oh, my God. The queen of pentacles. There you are again. Yep. Queen of Pentacles, down to earth, pragmatic, resourceful, and a go-getter. Responsibility, creative, a lot of material possessions. Generous, motherly care, home-centered, loves nature. This is you again. Yep. You're very stable. You've gotten some new spiritual power. Six of Swords, it came out twice. Mm -hmm. Moving from turmoil to calm. So you decided to remove yourself. Remove, uh, moving from turmoil to calm. It came out twice. Uh, this solar plexus chakra is in here. We have Aquar Venus and Aquarius energy. 
They could be attacking your, trying to attack your solar plexus chakra so you can't thrive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things are just kind of repeating themselves here. Mm -hmm. And when I was shuffling for your energy, I got the uh, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, let me find it. I'm going to go ahead and take it in reverse because it came out when I was shuffling. Page of Pentacles in reverse. What this means in this situation is this person, um, they're they don't have enough, um, they can't match your skill. Even with all these people helping them, they still can't take you out. Because you're very gifted, whoever I'm talking to. Yeah. Unrealized project. Lacks job experience. Requires more skill. So they need more skill for this to work on you. Because you, won't, you don't want to be associated with them. And that upsets them a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The moon on the bottom. Hidden and buried things emerge. You could have found out about this. Uh, they could be sending you illusion magic. This is this has been going on for a while now. But they can't find anyone to take you out. They got all this help and they still can't take you out. And they're, the, the, I asked the question, is this a soulmate? No. I'm saying maybe to me is no. You know, maybe it could be. Okay, why, who is this, what is this emperor and empress and all these queens on here? What are they trying to accomplish? The emperor, the empress, the queen of, the queen of cups and the queen of wands, the sun. Hmm. And you know what this tells me? The sun The sun is a good card, but this is like, this is something coming. This is going to be illuminated to you. They are, and I'm thinking they know that you know about this, but they're still trying. They're still trying to either, they want you to come towards them and join them and their dark little group, or they want to take you out. If not, they're going to take you out. So they know you know about this. They want your light. They want your energy. They want your sun energy. That's what this is. Yes. Mm-hmm. Nah. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. Yeah, this person's having a tower. This warlock. Some high-level warlock. What are they trying to do here? Gemini. God, Gemini. This is crazy. What are they trying to do, Gemini? What kind of work have they been doing on you? Okay, we got spiritual bath. Take a spiritual bath to break curses and remove any negative vibes that have sent your way. So they obviously are sending you negative vibes. All right. Oh, wow. Evil eye. Mm -hmm. Evil eye. Someone envies you to the point of them not wanting to use, to succeed. So this, how, this warlock is, je is jealous of your gifts. They probably want to take your gifts. Yeah, competition. The five of wands. Competition magic. Someone feels they need to compete against you. Against you. That is their motivation for the things that they do. There it is. That came out. The five of wands came out. Look. Here it is. The sun. Look at this shit. Sunshine magic. The light will be illuminated on your situation. What is done in the dark will come to the light. Look. Sun. They're going to be exposed. All right. They're going to be exposed. Mm-mm-mm. Reckless magic. Someone is out of control and doing anything to any and everyone they want without having remorse. So this person, this dark, um, this warlock, high-level, high-ranking warlock is doing this to a lot of people in our collective. Not just you. Mm-hmm. Block removing whatever was holding you back has been or is being removed yep blockages yep this is wow okay let's get one more and see what see what they have to say this is funny the page of page of pentacles in reverse harmless 
Someone has ill thoughts towards you, but there's nothing they can physically or spiritually do about it. See, that they're not skilled enough. Or whoever they're getting to do their work, they're not skilled enough. All them people. Sun protection. There it is again. Let the rays, rays of the sun clear away any negative energy you may be feeling at this time. So it's, it's not... You may be feeling a little bit, you know. Mm-hmm. They want your love, your money, and your energy. And we saw that page. Of sp they're spying. Spying uh, on you doing divination. through Spying on you through divination. Could be mirror magic going on. And they're going to get karma for what they're doing. Which we already saw that with judgment. Okay. Trying to block your third eye and your ability to manifest. But it's not affecting you any. They're not skilled enough. They're just not. Sorry about your luck. You know, <laughs> let's get my deck and see what else is going on. What specifically have they tried to do? Property spells. Someone may have put an item on your property that they did a ritual on to block your road to success or other purposes. So somebody has put something on your property, some kind of ritualistic, um, yeah, cloak deity, a cloak deity, a god or a goddess. An example would be Athena, Diana, Hermes, or Aphrodite. Somebody. They're using they're they're using God or goddess cloak deity, some kind of cloak deity they're using. Mm-hmm. Man. Beauty spells on the bottom. Someone trying to make you less pretty. Hair to fall out, teeth go bad, gain lose weight to make your skin break out so you'll lose your confidence. None of this is working. Because look at look at here. This is funny. Yeah. They've done a lot of different... This is one, two, three. Astral. They could have sent you some kind of astral parasite to make you sick. And that started... They could... This started in November. Any Anytime from November 10th to December 31st is when they did all this. Mm-hmm. They could have done, let's see, one, two. They could have done it like three times already this year. Yep. That's sad. But it's not working. But just, like, be really careful. Please be careful. Gemini, please be careful. There was another deck that I wanted to use. Let me pause the video and go get it. Okay. Okay. I got this new deck, Ascended Masters by Doreen Virtue. It's actually a real one. It's not the small one. Okay, let's see. What should we... Let's see. What have, What do we have for Gemini on for this... Um, What's going on? What does Gemini need? Let's draw a card for you. You're the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Sun. There's nothing they can do. Okay, what's going on? Crystals. I don't know how to pronounce this. Epina. They're telling you to work with crystals. Okay. Take charge of this situation. We have Moses. Oh, yeah. Take charge of this situation. It's interesting, this card, because um, I'm kind of getting like... If these people don't leave you alone, this warlock and his crew, or his or her, if it's a witch, but I'm channeling a war, high level warlock, um, you have God on your side. Um, God likes to send storms and weather. They, you know, this God could be could if these people don't stop, he could work with the elements and send them a storm and and destroy all their shit. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to put it like that, but take charge of this situation. Looks like God is taking care of this. Mm hmm Yeah, anything else? Let's get a couple more. Let it go, Quan Yin. Yep, just let it go. And don't, whatever you do, don't go near them people anymore. Stay away from them. And you know who it is. If this reading is resonating, let it go. Kuan Yin. All right.
Yeah, priorities, King Solomon. Get you keep your just don't worry about these people. Keep on taking care of your priorities. Keep it take care of business. They're saying to meditate as well. Okay, let's see what else we got going on in here. There's some advice. Let's see. There's I got some new cards. During Virtue, Magical Unicorns. Let's see what they have to say for the advice. For the advice. These cards are just absolutely beautiful. I got lucky and found these on, I found them on eBay. This is the Magical Unicorn deck. All right. What advice do you have for Gemini? What advice do you have for Gemini for this situation? What advice do we have for my Gemini? We have laughter. You need a good laugh. So they're just telling you to go have fun. Laugh. You know? Laughter. Laugh. Have fun. Do things that make you know, best friends. True friends stick together no matter what. So... You might have a best friend out there that you need to get in touch with and have some fun with. Yep, thankful. I think that's what this one is. Thankful. Think about the people and the things you feel grateful for. So, show gratitude, protect yourself, meditate, laugh, hang out, go out with your best friend and hang out. Yep. I'm going to take two more. You'll know in the morning when you wake up, you'll have a better idea of what to do. Relax until then. So if you had a rough night or you, you'll know that maybe tomorrow you'll find out some information. And then we have, you are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. God, these cards are gorgeous. Look at that, Gemini. They can't, they can't match you. You are gifted. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. Look at that. Okay. Well, guys, that's all I have. Uh, don't really, don't look like you have anything to worry about, but you still need to protect yourself because these people, I don't really see them trying to give up anytime soon, you know. I don't know. I don't understand it, but this is the way people do. Be careful. But it looks like you got, they can't really, they can't really, they haven't been able to do anything. They haven't been able to harm you. You may have felt a little bit, but that's it. Guard yourself, protect yourself, and go out and have some fun and laugh. Yep, laugh. And I'm getting that thing about take charge of the situation. Some kind of, if they don't stop, the elements are going to take over. God is going to put... So there's going to send them a storm their way, wherever they're living. They're going to get storm, and there's going to blow. It could blow their house down. It could tear everything they own up. It could, I'm not saying that, but God will send you a storm. It's in the Bible, it says whirlwind, and that means some kind of element. Um, but spirit or God, whoever you believe is working, is going to be working with the elements on this if they don't stop. Okay? Well, that's all I had to tell you, Gemini. I hope this helped you, and I will see you next time. God bless, and I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.